my name is Anthony Greer. Uh, I'm from Caesarea, Ontario, small little town by Port Perry in between Peterborough and Toronto. Um, I actually got this bike by building an iron head for another buddy. So he's like, hey, you built this, you want this. I'm like, yeah, that's a good deal. <laughs> so uh, I got it, uh, sat on the back burner for about a year and then uh, decided, hey, I'm gonna build a show bike because I'm tired of building it for all my friends and walk around with those assholes. This is a 12 over front end I got from a buddy of mine that races BSA and I was uh, building this, he knew I was building it and he goes, hey, I have these 12 overs if you're interested. Like, yeah, I'm definitely interested. They're original survivors from the 60s, so I actually had to sand them down and polish them because they were rusty as hell. I made this exhaust from the hanger back. This is actually a factory Sportster baffle that I really like cocktail shakers, but my friends call me a cheap fuck, so I reuse everything. So I got these from a buddy of mine. I cut them, beveled them, added this, and then flipped the cone upside down and welded back on. So I made my own cocktails, fired it up a couple times, louder than hell, so I actually made baffles to go in the inside, make it a little bit more reasonable for the neighbors. The sissy bar is from an old lady around the corner from my house who happened to be doing her deck, and she had all the railing off it. And I'm like, what are you doing with the railing? And she's like, you can have it. Done deal. I still have like three lengths of this out back of my house. So I ended up putting this together. I put some hoops in it, split the top, spread it out, welded it all together, called it a day. My shifter is made from scratch. This is a piece of stainless, a piece of brass, and a coffee table leg. This kicker pedal is made from scratch because it had the original Triumph one with the boot on it, which awfully fallen off. So I, I found a piece of steel that slid over another piece of steel, made it so it threaded all in, made that design. Eventually down the road, I'm probably gonna acrylic it, put some fucking bugs or something in it, I don't know. The forward controls, they always sat flat. And when I put the hardtail on, they sat too forward for me. Like I'm normally a mid person, but this is a small bike, right? So they kind of worked, but they kind of didn't. The guy I work with is not a chopper guy at all. And he's like, this thing's fucking tippy and fucking, I never rake my bikes. So I do 12 over, so it sits stupid high, right? And he's like, uh, that thing's wonky. It's gonna fall off the table every time I look at it. So I got thinking about it and I called it the wonky plonker, which is like British slang for unstable idiot. Right? So <laughs> that's how I figured, oh yeah, that's what it's called, definitely. First time coming to the States with it, and I love the vibe. It's a really good vibe here. A lot of people, a lot of questions, right? A lot of people, do. I like telling the stories, right? I got a story for every piece of this thing, so people really appreciate that. Oh.